that two face. All right, we're back. Today is gonna be one of those days. I have this feeling. Hey, what's up, Facebook? How we doing? You are live with three guys and a table. Three ladies, a table, and some tea. Why are you dressed like a watermelon? Why are you not dressed like a watermelon? Every time they get one wrong, they have to stick a marshmallow in their mouth. All right, that's it. Pat wins. Go, go hurl out your marshmallows, fellas. So hey, we move. Yeah. Welcome. Ready? What's up, man? Yo. Hey. We are back. Christ Family Matters, season two, episode two. Did you almost want to say the old name? I almost did. Yeah. yeah. Last week was worse. This week, uh, that's yeah. a, a kind of a tongue twister, though. Like Christ Family Matters. That's yeah. all right. Welcome, we're glad you guys are here. A bunch of people, a table, a ladder for a chair. This is us. <laughs> Yay! This well, is us. We're here. Hopefully you are here with us. We have our birthday girl producer. Woo! Fifteen. Man, I'm old. My baby's fifteen. <laughs> Sorry. Happens fast. Yeah, baby. And we have I well, you're not really a guest, although you're the first guest on around before. season two. Yeah. So if you don't know, this is Rachel Sandifer. Most of the, oh, I will also say your last name. She's in witness protection. Right? <laughs> um, okay. Most of the time, you will probably never see Rachel because she is our social media coordinator extraordinaire. Does a great um, job. So she's always behind the scenes. But today we have her on, and she has a little game for us, which I'm a little worried about because if you've watched, you know I like to be in charge of things. Um, but <laughs> that's okay. In real life, he likes to be in charge yes. of things. Uh, so before we get to that, though, since you're technically a guest. Uh, a couple quick questions for you. Uh, -oh. uh Who was, when you were a teenager, who was your celebrity crush? Mm. Oh, goodness. Um, I would have to go with good old JTT, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Yeah. Okay. That's oh. a big one. Yeah. Um, of course, was that? Timberlake. <laughs> the kid from <laughs> Home Improvement. He was oh, in Home Improvement. Oh. Well, he was in some other movies, too. Nice. The middle. The middle child. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Then, the posters. Okay. You know. You said cool. Justin Timberlake as well. Justin but Timberlake. All as JTs. Well. well, yeah, you can't go wrong with. I mean, that's everybody. Sync, you know. All right. So, uh, theoretically, hypothetically, hypothetical, since it never happens, but we hit another pandemic, and you run out of toothpaste. What is the toothpaste you would not buy in the store, even if that was the only one there? Wow, that's a weird is question. there a brand of toothpaste that you would just like? Nope. <laughs> I don't like the cinnamon okay. ones, so I think I'm gonna not. Okay, I'm with cinnamon. you on that, but like that or bad teeth. Like, I'm I'm afraid I'd go cinnamon because I <laughs> I can't go without brushing my teeth. Well, yeah. Same. But is mouthwash still available? Uh, uh sure. You can sand. Know. Okay. Well, like so that's it. Like that's the only. You can mouthwash instead. Yeah, that's not the same. Anyway, um, if you won the lottery. Right, the the mega millions, whatever. Top three things you would do. I would want a house with a lazy river, like a really cool nice. house, oh, a lazy so river cool. that like winds, like okay. a moat, like a all the way. Full of sharks or gators or something to keep no, like, away. No, oh. like no, like so we can float in it on the tubes. Cool. Lazy river for sure. Three things: well, house with a lazy river. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And um, probably some really cool like vacation, like to one of those tiki huts over the water type of thing. Is that before or after you pay off our church building? Oh yes, that's number Sorry. three. <laughs> <laughs> pay off the church building. <laughs> House with that lazy river. Is that out loud? <laughs> I'm just kidding, she has a very giving spirit. Uh, yeah. right, so just, just between yeah. us friends here at the table. And no one else. Just no, nobody yeah. else. Nobody else, just us. Something you've never told anyone else about yourself. Did we yeah. hit her with that before? I, like I, I don't think I've ever been on the show with her before. No. Even no. in season one. You were on no, I was with the ladies. ladies. You were not with me. The three of us. Oh, truth. Yes. Yes. I don't know. I tell people things. 
<laughs> Tell people things. I'm pretty open. I don't know. You gotta have something. Any, like, she loves hidden... feet. I hate feet. Maybe that's we the have point. a lot of the same phobias, so it's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah that's I mean, you guys know this. I'm feet. like super afraid of birds. Yeah, but that, like, everybody knows that. Blues, not, like... not everybody. Like, you guys do, but. <laughs> okay, well, everybody knows. Afraid You're afraid I'm allergic to garlic. You're allergic to garlic. That's. But she can have garlic powder. powder. That's so weird. Well, that's kind of a weird thing. I know. I don't think I could survive if I was allergic to So garlic. if nobody filled up your moat with garlic, you'd be okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 So you may or may not be a vampire, is what you're saying. May or may not. I am out during the day, though. Oh, that's yeah. true. Yeah. So, anyway, if you don't know who we are, I kind of skipped the introduction, I guess. Christ Family Christian Church. Um, we are revamping this show. So, like I said, episode two. Wednesdays, which is today's Wednesday, right? 12 yes, o'clock, yeah. we're, we're trying to get started. Um, Pat and Stephanie, who you know, and my wife Maureen and I. Um, so at this point, I would normally do a game, but I'm relinquishing control today to Rachel. And, um, <laughs> we're a little nervous because we have, we have props. We do. We, we're... We have official game answer boards. Right. We are These going are cool. to play the not so newlywed game today. Uh, one side not of this, right? so newlywed. This is Gerard and have been married for 15 years, right? So that's the back of mine. And the Hosses are on 24, almost 25 that's years. Correct. So I pulled out the questions and Dale doesn't know them. I'm sure. I have a lot of options about that. She's enjoying this. <laughs> Just a little a bit. A little bit. <laughs> A whole lot of hydrogen. All right, so the point of the play. game is that you have to match your spouse on the answer. So, oh, so, some, we, can't, so we can't like share answers. Nope. And then you'll flip your answer over at the same time, and if they match, you get a point. If they do not match, meh, no match. We'll, we'll go to the <laughs> other. Yeah. Some of the questions will be about both of you, and some of the questions will be so, so oh, so specific about or husband or wife. <laughs> <laughs> If anyone's cheated between the two of us, it's you, Home Slice. I don't cheat. Home Slice. Once you've cheated, cheat. you've already lost. That's right. Yeah. So That's why I don't cheat. Cool. I just take every advantage I can to win. <laughs> See, have CC Give friends. me some illegal advantages. <laughs> All right. Are we ready? We are yes. ready. Okay. Some of them will be easy. Them. So all four of us are answering at the same time. They're answering for them. We're answering for yes. the gotcha. Outstanding. Yes. No. <laughs> Shut up, the kids. <laughs> all right. Question number one. Where did your first kiss happen? <laughs> I love his face. Where did the first kiss happen? I know what his answer is. All right. Ready? I'm going to do the teacher thing here. Okay. One, two, three. Show me. <laughs> The what? <laughs> uh, right okay. answer. I have no idea. Right answer. It's the driveway. Like, sure. Yeah. Well, I guess it was on the mouth. Yeah. I mean, I didn't. I but I wasn't go specific that way. enough there. <laughs> Rogers Park. All right. Yeah, Rogers Are you Park. keeping score, Michaela? Yeah. I got the score. Okay. Michaela's our official scorekeeper. You better win, or otherwise you're grounded. <laughs> On your birthday. On your birthday. Go to your room. You get the four questions right. And oh, go to the shh. Place. Don't ask you. <laughs> All right, number two. Between the two of you, who is the bigger pack rat? <laughs> and I want to know Michaela's answer on this one, too. <laughs> Who's telling the truth? All right, ready? Go. Men? <laughs> oh, me. Step <laughs> right, Michaela. So that's, the, that's the same answer because we both said men. Nah. <laughs> right? So we get a point. Wait, nah. you always want to throw everything out. Wait, Wait we, we have, have to say for sure. For sure. Because Cle <laughs> it's not even second place, it's not even close. Oh, I, might I be helped fifth you place. move. We helped you for, move. Yeah, they helped me move. For sure. sure. All right, Michaela. Who would you say? Your mom or mom? Mom? Mom keeps everything. Wow, okay. Dad, I think that might be like a one right? thing. Might be. Well, so my maybe it is. is. I said so like the it. same thing. Dad throws everything out. We don't yeah. need this. That's Check how it. my husband is. Okay. Throw it away. Throw it away. Throw it away. Well, but but I have like random boxes of wires. We're, and we're, see, he keeps his stuff. Yeah, I still keep your crap. <laughs> <laughs> so I technically that's two answers in a row that they got right. 
Exactly. Me. That was me. My answer. We both said me. That's <laughs> no. the same answer. But they meant me as in yourself. I see all the Wendy's games. They go generic. Big. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Here we go. Shh. This is a question about the lives. Uh. Your wife asks you to grab her a treat from the store on your way home. <laughs> what do you buy? What does she want you to buy? From the store, store, or like any store, any store. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> She's looking at me. In fairness, I I, I appreciated her re-question to the question. So. You think too long. You think wrong. Oh. <laughs> I think I got this wrong. All right, ready? Flip up. I almost put chips. Anything salty or ice cream? I hard, it's going to be hard to beg that into a correct answer. <laughs> we cannot do <laughs> it. That's not However, really we salty. missed chai tea latte is, is what that you cuneiform are. is. <laughs> See, I should have changed it to chips because that was my so next. That would have been so, that would have been nice. But my answer is correct, isn't in, it? In fairness, it's usually salty caramel or salted caramel Whatever. ice cream. Try to Yours is like peanut butter that. cups or something, right? Something with peanut butter in it or? Him? Yeah. Anything sweet. He's yeah. got a giant sweet yeah. to me too. Food in general. I'm surprised this is like coffee. Well, like this, I was thinking snack, like though. the grocery store. Well, it's a treat. It didn't say snack. It said treat. Oh, I think treats of like, anyway, <laughs> yeah. whatever. All right. Don't judge me, Rachel. <laughs> How many <laughs> guests? Did you invite to your wedding? Oh, Lord. oh wait, wait. So hold on. we gotta clarify this question. How many guests did Dude, like? So I invite, invite, did she invite? How many total, were invited total, to the wedding? Total wedding total. guests invited to the wedding. So ours is like 25 years ago, to be fair. So if we're close, like well, that's the, the point of the game is that it's not so newlywed. You gotta think about it. Y'all have zero points. I, I don't. Think <laughs> <so>. <laughs> and they had salty and sweet as the last answer. Yeah. Like, you guys gotta get something. Shut up. All right. Well, we'll maybe like, like within. Get like your head in the game. Twenty-five. Okay, the game. We'll say if they're within twenty-five of each other, and we'll give it to them. Yeah, it works. All right. This is not a fair question, and I'll explain why in a minute. I'll explain uh -huh. why too, but I think it's also unfair. But anyway. Are <laughs> ready? Yes. Yeah. All right. Listen. We're both off by fifty. <laughs> See, that is so, totally uh, unfair question because. Our parents invited. invited way more people than we did. So I think personally, I invited like ten people to the wedding. And we had like thirty. <laughs> it's like word of mouth. Hey, that's how all weddings Saturday, I've got something have going on. Invite all their people, and then you have people that you invite to. We invited, invited two fifty. So she would know that. Two sixty six showed up. Well, that's why I was going to say how many people showed or how many people. Which either case, I'm too late. That was a fair question. All right. I want them all. Okay. Thank you. Okay. How long was your engagement? Oh, this one's before you got married. Too long. This one should be easy for you too. We all talk about that. Wait. Yeah, I think that's right. Oh. Wait. Maybe I should let you cheat. What are you going to fill out answers? Hey. No. Write down one day. So like from the 12, time you got engaged to the time you got married. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's your engagement. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> I don't know this answer and I know Wait, I'm not right. Hold on. I give up on you people. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with that. Final answer. Come on, let's go. Final answer. Okay. Alright, go. What? Uh, I, I know I don't know the right <laughs> answer. How how much was y'all's? I have to put 11. Well, first I had 18 months. Yeah. I, oh, we got engaged in July and got married. I thought we got engaged in September. I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, I have no idea. <laughs> I, obviously, I don't either. <laughs> 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 the 
but we got engaged after we had been together like <coughs> four months. Yeah, but that still doesn't answer the question. It was one and a half years. <laughs> it probably was. I knew I was alone as soon as I put it, but I am not changing my answer all the time. <laughs> yeah. Some people do. <laughs> all right, this one is for the men to answer. Well, you have oh. answer about your men. What's something that always makes your husband laugh? <laughs> I don't know how to spell this. I can't talk. Being heckled by our 15 year olds. <laughs> All right, go. Oh, ah, Savannah. Savannah? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she cracks me up. Most what of the other people laugh, but. Inappropriate things. I almost said that, but. I almost said poop jokes. Yeah, stupid. Not just I was waiting for somebody to have part there. Stupid. You know. I hope so we got a point there. Oh, yeah. Yes. We got a point. You guys have yes. three. Y'all have. Shut up. Like, like a half. Pop. We'll give them like you a half. Two points? No. Two <laughs> <You, you laughs> <owe> points. What? <laughs> well, you did erase a bunch of things, and so it's a penalty. But... Alright. Who Fair spends the no. most money on personal items? Like hygiene items. Uh, like personal hygiene or like clothes and personal hygiene. Oh, items. that's easy. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Why does have you seen this be beard? Because it's way out in front. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't. I didn't cut my. For sure. For sure. Him. My hair is cut like, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. cut like this for less personal hygiene <laughs> things. <laughs> Beard. They're all the boys. Finally. So you're back to negative one, or are they just zero? Yeah, sure. I, I'll give them like a half. You're grading the curve. They get like yeah. four points. All right. All right. Moving on. We got that right. All right. We did get that. What right. was the first trip you took together? Trip. Oh. Mm -hmm. Space. It looks so confused. Well, there's two that come to mind. And so I'm, I'm considering a trip is longer than like a day at Bush Gardens, correct? I mean, that like a trip is yeah. like out of town. Oh, yeah. then we. No. Oh. Not that we can read that, but. I oh, hope this is right. It's a lot of years. I know. Right? I just want to say, I don't care if it's right or wrong, I just want to wrote the same thing. You have to remember if there's lots of things. Would it be oldie wed? What's your saying? Alright, flip up. Yay! Hi, Chris! Did you hear it, Chris? You were famously on Long Island before Joey left for the army. What'd you put? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. You guys have been a lot of places, though. Long Island? And that was basically like. Right on the corner from where you grew up. No. <laughs> it's like us saying we went to Tampa. Well, see, I mean, that, that's the hard part because we like until our honeymoon, we never went on vacation. Like that's we went like a weekend here, weekend there. But, yeah. like, well, those are little trips. Yeah. Those count. Next question. I can't ever remember. All right. Crap, so one thing we will never ever agree on is blank. Mm. for a really long time. They are. He is. <laughs> You're writing a novel over there. One thing, Pat. One I don't <laughs> I don't um know because I think we agree on everything. Oh, you're looking? <laughs> uh oh. That's the oh, wrong answer. Man. Wait a second. And Your you know answer that? is wrong. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. His farting is not funny. <laughs> this is, this is it. We will not agree on that. Assassination is my character. <laughs> that is my shoes. <laughs> and the, the amounts. The amounts. Not that you have them, but like. The I don't. I gave a lot away when we moved. 
Yeah, and look how many still, you know. <laughs> she had one end of that bin. <laughs> this uh, is where we just want to come back to the ascension of the ranks. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was the fight all along. Okay. Went there. Out of the two of you, who is more decisive? Oh, we got this. That's such an easy one. Oh, Dale's got some for sure going on over there. Oh, yeah. Go. All right. Yeah. I cannot, like, I hate to do this. I wonder if that's like a man woman thing, too. Like, men are better at just making the decision and women Probably. are not. Well, it's because women are usually too. built for making relationships and guys just, like, want to communicate and we're done. Like, so I have on to the next thing. So. And that's a good call. That's not like a. It's actually painful to watch me make a decision. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen me do it. <laughs> okay. All right. What is your wife's favorite thing to cook? Water. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. There's a couple things you do really good. Water. There's no, that answer was for her dad. If he's watching from Wyoming, he would say water. <laughs> I want to say her favorite thing or what she's good at. She her. loves when she uses the crock pot. Um, <laughs> Your dad. <laughs> casserole. <laughs> casserole. I'm not a big casserole person here. Alright, full. Cool. <laughs> Nothing. Because you don't like to cook. Everybody complains. I, I went to my favorite thing that you cook because you cook. Aww. You like a lot of things. But I like my that? taco holders. <laughs> oh, that's uh, true. Taco holders. Yeah. I love my taco, taco holders. Taco holders. But that's a relatively newer thing in fairness, and so I. Okay, was, yeah. thank you, though. Then I'm glad you like my meatballs. Your your answer is correct. Thank you. But I we're still not, like meatballs. We're not kidding. Many points here. No, that didn't help us. Of course, they got nothing. So. No, yeah. No, literally, but nothing. I literally wrote thank nothing because she doesn't like to cook. <laughs> Your favorite thing, coffee. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whatever's brought to the table. Yeah, you could have What somebody it. else makes. Yeah, that could have been an answer. What was your husband's first job? Like after we got together, or first job? Ever? First job ever. So, first paying job. Okay. All right. So paying know. job. I'm gonna say did this. You, did you write pirate? He was a pirate. <laughs> he was a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> I can't use that word. So you don't know the name. I probably don't know. The name. All right, go. Lifeguard. Lifeguard. Thank you, Star. But did your dad pay you when you were a teenager to do that? Probably. I don't know. That's that was a summer job. The, that's why I said the pizza. I'm place. sure he didn't do it. But that wasn't my first job either. <laughs> I knew that. I knew that answer. I had lots of. Better. Never mind. Like I, I cut grass for my uncle when I was younger, but like he. Did you guys get money? Right? We got yeah. right. Like paychecks, so. Step up your game. You know my first job. It's not that hard. <laughs> I only had eight million of them. You have a okay, job. moving <laughs> along. You know his last one. <laughs> If what Dale's is, not on next week, you know what happened. <laughs> trouble at the house. Uh, expect it every week or so, whatever. Okay. When it comes to replacing the toilet paper roll, should the paper go oh, over right. or under? Oh, boy. <laughs> this, is a, this is a common thing that is, we talk about in our homes. So I'm so surprised this question is on here today. I don't know we talk about it a lot, but it's come up. I don't think we ever talk about it and just do it. Oh, we talk about it here. Okay, go. Well, we used to. <laughs> for, <laughs> for, for sure. For sure. For, 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 for sure. For sure. Let's answer this, right? You're it. sitting there, you're all done. You can pull right, you grab right from the top, put your knee on there, rip it out. Like, it's good. We you're underneath, you're going to like. Put your it knee should be on over. it to rip it off. Yeah, you just pull it up, put your knee, it stops it. <laughs> so it's I don't know if I still have it. Even if you don't, but like. <laughs> It's a thing. I, hey, I want to hear. You have to use your knee. You can't just like. Well, you don't have to, but it's like, so I probably can't find it quickly. To tear it. But have you ever seen the patent for toilet paper? Not when you have uh -huh. your phone. It's over. So that means <laughs> well, yeah. it's right. Like, That's over the right is the right way. way. I, I would be over curious what the, the right audience way. has to say if there's an over under situation. I will find that right. picture of What's the patent. What's your vote? Over or under? 
It should be over. That's the right over, word. Over is the right answer. There's no I know what you're talking about. There's no, no, about. There's no under There's option. Now, is it to the point when you go out to like somebody's house and it's under, you want to flip it over? I do. I, not that I do flip it over. Okay. So the weird thing about that is, what's your rule as far as like how low does it get? You're like, oh, it's not worth it to leave this little on there. I've got to change the roll while still not throwing away paper. It's it's. No, a, you use it till it's all the way gone. Right, but if like you use it and there's like three little things left, would you like overuse or just so you don't like mix it in with the other? No, you like set the next roll there for the next person, uh, so it's like ready because you okay. know they're gonna roll run out. Yeah, okay. They're so you don't waste. Roll out. They're, they're, gonna roll out. Roll out. they're roll not out. rolling anywhere if they ran out of toilet paper. TP talk, they're gotta love it. stuck there forever. Every time Rachel's on this show. <laughs> Talking yeah. about poop. All right. There was no poop mentioned until just now. It was toilet paper. That's All different. right. Where are we going? All right. Who will your spouse say is the more romantic one in your relationship? We got this one. <laughs> I think Michaela's face is over here, and golden. <laughs> Pat's adding for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. There is a for sure on there. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> that puts cool. Okay. Yeah. All right. She's pretty cool. These are four nine. Better at romance. Four to nine. Okay. So, guys. Shh. <laughs> okay. Which of which one of you usually picks the restaurant? A lot to explain on mine. Yeah, not I know. another novel over here. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead. Savannah. Savannah. <laughs> I put between us. It's her, but but not by much because we do Savannah. pretty good. But Savannah picks more her. Savannah, there you go. All right. She gets to do whatever she wants. No, not all of what she does. <laughs> She's mostly good. When the two of you are in the car together, who controls the radio? Oh, we have this debate all the time. It should be me. Oh. Why you? Well, wait, wait a minute. Your question was what? Uh, <laughs> your question was what? When the two of you are in the car together, who controls okay. the radio? When the two of us, okay, because that's also a different answer. Right? <laughs> that's, okay. also that's, that's also Savannah. That's also Savannah. Yes. Okay. No, out of the two of you, okay. right. sorry, you're alone. A flip, flip. Me, yeah, 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 okay. Me, or really the driver. Ah, which is usually you. So right. Right. Yeah. So, it's me. So. I agree with the driver, especially like on a road trip. They they get to pick. Yeah. Like, oh, we, I believe you. If we go on a road trip, totally believe you. see, it's proper. If we go on a road trip, I was a good chance to picture later, so. It proves that toilet paper is over. But once again, and I think that we <laughs> should control the radio. And when you says, drive, you can control the radio. Except for while you have your permit and learning, there is no radio. But the right answer, once or again, phone. is Savannah. We're <laughs> texting. Okay. All right, we got two more. Ready? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to, yeah. If, <laughs> if, your, if your husband was an animal, what would they be? They both said, huh? I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> okay. A liger. A liger. <laughs> That's from the boy of dynamite. What'd you put? A koala, koala bear. bear. I was almost going to put what? sloth, too. They're all they want to they, well, koala bears sleep and eat. That's all they do. But tiger's right, but I just thought it'd be funny because I didn't know what you'd say for sure. We don't really talk about well, that around the house. So. A liger is it's a half tiger. Half of the tiger. Are we gonna do we get half patty? What? <laughs> Why not? They already won. Just give them the half. Just give them that. Give them that. All right. And a half What's the score six. going into the last 11 question? Eleven and a half to six. <laughs> Eleven and a half to six. All right. So this this question was ten points. Yeah, ten yeah, pointer. All right. I was gonna say. This is, All right. Here we go. Uh, ten pointer. Ready? What is the best thing about being married? 
We don't have the time to write all that. <laughs> you just, just probably not give up. Yeah. No, that is You're tricky because there's lots of things. Yeah, there's like... Well, what do you think that you would both put? Oh, man. Uh, it's a family show. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, boy. So the child come across the room. Um, repeat the question. <laughs> what is the, the best, best thing, thing about being married? Can you use that in a sentence? <laughs> um, nice. Uh, I see what you put. I just don't have, like, there's not enough words. Just two sentences. Your wife tried. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean with the amount of words. <laughs> She's got quite a few. There's a lot on there. Yeah, sorry, I said that in a way that made it sound worse. <laughs> well, she tried. Yeah, yeah, be more like the wife. Oh, this is a great question, though. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, next time you're a guest, we're going to have you in John's video. Yes. Roll reversal. Okay. Let's see if we can get into the part. True. I don't know. All right, okay. What do you got? Friendships. He's my best friend. Friendship. Yeah, I put a lot of stuff. What'd you put? Food. Food, best friend. Food, my best friend. My boss friend? Yeah, my best right. friend. And He's I can hang with friend. my partner. partner every day. Hey, well, that's cool. Oh, that's fun I'm hearing other. friendship there. I call this yeah. the tie. I think everybody wins. Yeah. No, everybody gets no, no, we no, 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 We're no, terrible. No, no. There's no... <laughs> That's 22 and a half to 14. We, we don't play that around here. We... Alright, so to end the game, do I have to do this? Yes. <laughs> oh, great job. That didn't really go the way I wanted to, but that's alright. So, we have a long show. Is it, am I up? You are yeah, up. Yeah. Uh, so, I'm going to keep it brief because we did a long show already with our game. That's okay. But anyway, <clears throat> we guys, we know we're on this series, the um, Fruit of the Spirit. Once again, it's fruit, all encompassing fruit. Did you guys have a chance to? I mean, I know you guys all were there Sunday. What do you think of this series? What do you think of this study we're getting ready to do? Is it challenge your mind? Because the last week I asked you, remember what your uh, favorite of the fruits or which one you're looking forward to most about hearing? And you had the ones you were preaching on. And I think, what did you have, your one you were looking forward to patience. most? Patience and patience. patience. Yeah, patience. Huh, I wonder why that is. <laughs> I think it's great. It's great. No, it's not. <laughs> That was too. Uh -huh. It's a great study. I'm excited about what's to come. Yeah, yeah. I think it's funny when you look at these things that the Spirit of God gives you, and I, as I was studying for it, I was reminded that God gives you these things. We're not naturally good at patience, or even kindness for that matter, or goodness. Um, even Jesus said, why do you call me good? Only God is good. So if Jesus said that, like, how are we going to pull that off? Only with the fruit of the Spirit, only with the fruit of God that he brings. So. It was fun. I had this uh, idea of love. Do you guys remember my uh, cerebral uh, definition of love was? The analyticals out there. Do you remember what I put down? Unconditional, self-sacrificial um, commitment to each other's well-being. Perfect. Perfect. What do you guys think? You get a gold star. For sure. Point for her. <laughs> she wins. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I think a lot of times we, we put down things like love, which is just a mysterious thing. Like, we're going to talk about joy this week, and what would you describe joy as, joy as excuse me, for somebody who just needed to know a Webster's Dictionary version? I think joy is an attitude of the heart. Mm -hmm. Much like love, Love right? was, too. Right. Right. Um, is, like, happiness is an emotion. Like, joy and happiness are not the same. Right. 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 Happiness depends on the circumstances. Joy is, yeah. yeah, what happens, and joy is what you have no matter what. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to talk about that a little bit on Sunday, but that attitude of love is so mysterious because, like, I, I say I love bacon a lot, right? Or I love this, but but it's not the same sort of attitude as you talked about, that attitude of you know, no matter what, I'm committed to somebody's, you know, well-being. So, anyway, I hope that stuck out. Obviously, you remember the phrase. I, I did take that from another preacher I heard years ago, so that's not my my thing, but um, I, I certainly... For those of you that in your minds think I have to think a certain way about what this is, that to me is a great explanation of unconditional, even if it costs me, self-sacrificially. Yeah, I like that. But you can't beat what Paul writes to the Church of Corinth in chapter 13 where he talks about what love is, right? It's patient and kind, which by the way are two more fruit we get to have. And what it doesn't do, it doesn't envy, it doesn't boast, and it 
um, does a whole record of wrongs, and that one kind of stuck out to me because I, I touched on it briefly, but like, do you guys know how to argue? You've been in a good old fashioned argument? Just, yep. you know, one or two. Yeah, <laughs> old days, but for sure. <laughs> but what comes up on a good old fashioned argument, right? The past. The past means you're keeping some record of wrongs. You've mm -hmm. still got that file away back there. And Jesus is saying, well, Jesus through Paul is saying that that's not love. Love does not keep all them records. So in other words, if God says, I forgive you, as far as the east is from the west, like I forgive you, that means he's not holding record of our wrongs. But, you know, we decide we're going to hold record of each other's wrongs. I think God's just saying, keep working that out, keep working that out. My fruit of the Spirit will help you with that. So I believe it's in order perfectly. I believe it starts with love. I, I don't know a loving person who has that unconditional, self-sacrificial commitment to one's well-being without joy following up. Those people tend to be more joyous people who tend to be more at peace in the world, which tends to bring patience on down the list of self-control. So I believe they're in perfect order. Um, I, I think they're written in the order that God wants them to be on purpose, not by accident. And looking forward to going through the rest of them, and I'm looking forward to hearing your uh, couple of the ones you're doing on what you yeah, kindness and self-control, right? Yeah, and I know you always say we preach to ourselves, and that's absolutely true. I'm looking forward to, um, especially in our time. You know, we're we're, I, I think we're a joyous people, but obviously we've been through a lot. And I think God has really shown me, at least through a lot of the trials we've been through, that we still have an attitude of joy, even though happiness has been pretty tough to come by. But um, yeah, God's bigger than that stuff too. I'm looking forward to going through it. Uh, you're the guest. Do you have anything to add on there as far as what you topic you would like to hear the most? Um, I think kindness, actually. Um, okay. Kindness is something that I have been focusing on, especially as a teacher, um, a lot lately, especially this past year, and trying to teach my first graders how to be kind. And okay. that is extremely important, especially in today's society when a lot of people are not super kind. So yeah. That's a great point. Mm -hmm. Way to be well observed of that because, man, it's a non-kind world, isn't it? Everybody's offended. Okay. Right? Talk about that this Sunday. Everybody's offended and everybody's got an expectant type of attitude now where uh, I'm owed this, uh, you know, I, I just should get che checks to stay home, I should get everybody's free stuff, and whew, man, unkind, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Great game, appreciate you coming on, hope you do it more Thanks often. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Yeah. First guest of many on our, our new revamped show, so thanks for being here. Um, we got a lot going on, coming up, we'll do it, I don't know, no, I'm done with that. Um, so, if you are just checking us out, if you are just um, wanting to get to know us, uh, you can go to our website, cfcc.church. Uh, has all of our information, a little bit about who we are. Obviously, you can check us out here on Facebook, and you can scroll through and uh, see all of the things we do throughout the week. There's tons of videos about who we are, and um, every Friday there's a different feature Friday, a little bit about the church, and there's all kind of stuff. Uh, if you want to reach out to one of us, uh, our emails, I think actually all of our emails are on the church website. Um, you can obviously reach us here on Facebook, leave a comment. We'd love to get to know you. Um, one of the ways, we were just talking about this a while ago, one of the ways that we, uh, even new people, especially new people I should say, coming in uh, is through small groups. Uh, small groups, and we talk about this a lot, is something that's very important to us. Uh, we want to grow as a church and not for our own benefit, not for our own, oh, look at us, but uh, we want the gospel message, we want Jesus' message to get out there. Uh, so that means the church growing. And one of the ways we do that is by staying small. Um, so small groups, we have all kind of different small groups. Uh, there's a Tuesday morning women's small group. Uh, there's a Tuesday evening women's small group. There is a Tuesday evening men's group and there is a Friday morning men's group uh, and again all the information for the leaders are on the website uh, and then our youth group uh, is taking a break for the summer they're week to week uh, but they will be doing different events throughout the summer we don't know what those events are yet uh, but as soon as we have those we will post those and throw those out there for you and that'll be for middle school and high school uh, and of course we are here Sunday mornings well not here that would be kind of weird that 147 people showed up in your yeah. dining room. That would be actually really fun because to touch on your point about small groups, think about it. Can you catch up with 147 people on a Sunday morning? No. Nope. It's impossible, right? But small groups, eight or nine, six, eight people, something like that, you can definitely catch up on life. And, you know, somebody came to me this last week and said that they were really sick and they went to the hospital, but they're disconnected. Like, they're not... 
they don't yeah. come very often. They're not in small groups. And this is not a shame to them. They actually have some health issues. But my point is, it's so hard to know and how to care for people if you just yeah. don't know how to connect with them. And so, well, and that, that's not a good point. Is you know, right now, except for the women's evening small group, all the small groups are meeting at the church. And mm -hmm. the, the church campus eventually will be for that. We'll have meeting rooms, but. One of the other ideas behind small groups is to be in someone's living room. Yeah. Um, to someone to open up their house and necessarily doesn't have to be the person leading the small group either. Um, but again, it's a little bit more comfortable. You're in your living room and there's probably more snacks and, and whatnot. Um, so small groups don't yeah. have to take ice things. cream and salty things. I mean, different things available. Anyway, yes, but I don't know where I was going with that. So Sunday morning, not here, sure. but we are live here on Facebook. Um, we would much rather see you in person. Again, we know there are um, still health things that preclude some people from coming. And uh, some of you are just checking us out, wanting to get to know us and see what we're all about. Some of you are out of state or out of the area, and we understand that. But um, ultimately, we would love to have everyone that is able to join us in person to join us in person. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, we're still under the open sky we don't know what that's going to look like again we you've heard us say this for a year and a half now if not more um, we have a plan but god's got different ideas so uh, we're still there we had 147 people this past sunday and it was hot but people were there so come on out uh, bring a fan we have hopefully plenty of water although mm -hmm. that seems to go pretty quick and shorts and flip-flops and t-shirts yeah Hats. i want to bonus bring uh, to the table here that Dale said the word preclude. I want to make sure that everybody did hear that, you know, so. Hey man, Dale said preclude. I have a college education. Yes, you you wouldn't know it most often, but. <laughs> we love Dale. That's somebody else. How do you not? <laughs> really? For sure. I mean, like, For you sure. have to, like, what? Oh, I have to. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, so join us at 10 30 for Sunday. I'm, I'm out of here. Come yeah. check us out. <laughs> so you want to pray for us? Or you me too. Oh, man. Uh, Father, thank you so much for this time, this day, and I just really appreciate your laughter, and I ask that you give us more of it. Uh, that comes from a good spirit of joy that we know your, your Holy Spirit gives us, and we seek that out, Father, where you continue to pour out uh, your spirit into ours as we seek to become more like you, and uh, hopefully this uh, sermon series kind of uh, draws us in closer to you, and we are reminded that we are only kind because your spirit gives us kindness. We are only at peace because of your spirit and, and all the other attributes as well that, that prove that you do live inside of us. And so we're thankful for the spirit of God that we have walking around with us every day and just remind us that these bodies we live in will fail one day, but your spirit never will. So thank you, Father. Thank you for this time we get to laugh together and have a great time and learn about each other and uh, minister to uh, each other in the world and just ask that your your son still blesses this time as long as you see fit. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.